Hi, everybody. Good team win. Uh, our, I thought the best part about this game was the way that uh, we had a lot of guys step up and play with a lot of aggressiveness and, and a lot of togetherness, even though we had a ton of foul trouble, uh, you know, for Greg Brown only to be able to play 12, 13 minutes, Kai Jones only 13 minutes, Jericho was limited uh, in terms of his playing time. For guys like Royce Ham, Brock Cunningham to step up, that's what a team's about. Uh, obviously, we set a tone on the defensive end. We really challenged the guys on that after the Davidson game. I didn't think we played poorly on defense in the Davidson game, but I thought our one-on-one -on -one defense was not good enough, uh, and we did a did a much better job today. Thank you. I'll open the floor for questions. Yeah, Shaka, um, just more detail about Brock and Royce. You mentioned the foul trouble, but – what was it that allowed those guys to come in and just have a lot of success? I, I know heading into this game, you probably told those front court guys, this is going to be a heck of a challenge. And a lot of those guys had to deal with some fouls, yet Brock and Royce came in and really gave you some steady minutes. Well, probably the biggest area where we need to improve on defense is fouling less. Uh, but at the same time, we need and want to play with a level of aggressiveness. So if that means we foul sometimes – um, that's something that we can work on and get better at, but the aggressiveness has to be there. Um, yeah, absolutely. Our goal was to keep Jackson Davis and Thompson combined under 24 points. They got 21. Um, you know, we knew that they were going to go in there early and often. Those guys both played really well yesterday. Uh, again, Royce Ham, I, I thought, really gave us a huge lift by going to the post. And, you know, we, we talk about in defense dancing in the post, and I thought he did a great job of just having active feet. Uh, Brock Cunningham, I can't wait to watch the hustle plays that he had today, man. I, I just – that's one of my most favorite things to do is just watch those plays um, because they're winning plays and they're completely selfless plays. Shaka, just continuing on on Brock for a second, where, where do you see him continuing to develop the most? I mean, his stat line today was pretty phenomenal. Uh, where, where do you see his growth through this offseason? Well, it just – he impacts winning. He makes winning plays. He does whatever you need him to play. He can play different positions. He can guard different positions. Um, you know, he's at his best when he's just super aggressive, not really worried about, you know, what might or might not happen, just attacking. Uh, you know, those two threes he made, I've never seen a guy make a three and then, and then chase after the ball so much like it's going to be a miss. But uh, that's his mentality. And the fact that he, he got so many deflections, he had his hands in the basketball, four assists, uh, 11 rebounds is huge. Yeah, Shaka, uh, you know, early in the second half, it kind of looked like Indiana was threatening a little bit. It looked like y'all were, were sort of looking for a spark from somewhere. And Matt really stepped up and he just sort of looked like he was playing under control. He had a little pep in his step. How important was he today, especially with a lot of guys in foul trouble and some other guys, their shots weren't really falling. Yeah, Matt was really big. I mean, I'm really hard on Matt, and I'm, I'm, I'm always on him. I was on him in the first half about a couple plays, but he's done a great job of, uh, you know, playing with a level of desperation like you should have as a senior guard and knowing that, you know, these opportunities are few and far between, and, and it's on us to make the most of them. So he did a nice job giving us a lift at the start of the half, uh, a, a huge deflection to go the other way and, and score two points, which is – how we want to be and how we want to play. Shaka, what do you think it says about your team's defensive capability that you can crack the whip on them and you, and you have gotten two of the top three defensive games that you've had since you've been here so far? Well, I mean, we're, we, we've got capable guys. Um, you know, I think if we can continue to – if we can improve defending without fouling, we can be even better. But – um, I told the guys yesterday after the game, I, I didn't think we necessarily led with our defense. Now, Davidson deserves a lot of credit for how they scored the ball. But today we led with our defense, and that's, that's what our identity has to be. Hey, hey, Shaka, this is Aaron Beard with the Associated Press. I did want to ask you about uh, Greg Brown, the education of a freshman when you're dealing with a tournament like this, no exhibition games. I mean, he had one sequence where he had a great reverse layup, air ball to three, but then came right down and drew a charge, like in about a 30-second span, it seemed like. Just kind of what's – what's how are you bringing along a freshman with in this current time of, in a tournament like this, trying to build something with them? 
Well, the first thing is is him learning all the little things that go into winning. Um, you mentioned the charge, you know, making the plays on the defensive end that he needs to make to, to match the intensity level of all the guys around him. He's learning. He's gotten better. Uh, on the offensive end, it's it's still a work in progress from the standpoint of just understanding the reads at this level. I think in high school he was so good he could just make his mind up pre you know prematurely and say okay when I get the ball I'm going to drive. At this level you can't necessarily do that when you drive. You've got to know okay they're helping I got to kick to this guy or I got to get to two feet so it's not a charge. He's learning I mean, his best basketball is ahead of him. He's a better shooter than he's shooting right now, but that's typical. A freshman just needs to get into a rhythm and step into a shot the right way, and he'll start making more. Thank you, John. Thank you. Now I welcome Matt Coleman and take questions for Matt. Matt, haven't seen you uh, smiling like that uh, in a while. Just what did you think about just the flow of the game and how you guys were able to turn – the defense into some really solid offensive chances today? Um, I think we just – we owned and we learned from yesterday. Garden Davidson, they're a well-coached, well-offensively team, and we just wanted to carry over. There was a couple of things that we knew Indiana wanted to do, play through their bigs, uh, high pick and roll, short roll. Uh, and then they had a good guard in Al Durham, and we just wanted to just make it tough for, for all of them, and we just carried that over for 40 minutes. And um, the rest took care of itself. Yeah, Matt, I know the Shaka's messages for a while now has been kind of, you know, winning is in the details. Is today an example of that where you guys win by 22? I mean, you shoot under 40%, but you win by 22 because I think you finished plus 19 in rebounding. You're 15 and 19 from the foul line. Was it really in the details today? Yeah, I mean, I just think we took – we owned, we took it personal – uh, of matching the intensity of Anna and just, you know, just being mature. Like, um, they came off a great win yesterday. We came off a win. Of Matt, I think there was one sequence late in the, in the first half. I think Brock came up with a steal and, and ended up throwing it up to Florida. You pull up and hit a three. I think put you guys up 11 or 12. Describe his performance and, and also Royce's performance, those guys coming off the bench and giving you some big minutes. Brock's brutal, so you know, we just, it's in our DNA. Uh, but Brock is one of those guys that you love playing with, but you hate playing against. Um, he's going to give you extra possessions. Uh, he's going to make open shots, and he's just going to fly around. And that's what we need. That's a guy, he fits perfect into how we want to play. And like I said, you you love playing with him because he's going to help you win. Okay, one last question. Anybody? Anybody? Hey, Anybody? there. Hey, real quick about Brock, though. I mean, can you just talk about the importance of everybody has to play their role? And this is clearly his role. For the yeah. The work. And, and he knows that. He knows that we'll come in practice. He was like, let's just put me in the corner. I'll be ready to shoot. Uh, I, that's just who he born, That's who he was born to be. He, he flies in, gets extra possessions. He's always going to crash the offensive glass. He's going to be a mf on the defensive end. Uh, so that's just – he knows his DNA, and he knows his role, and he, and he does it well at a high level. Great. Thank you, Matt.